250 gemstones culture represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day we are more than journalism we are a revolution come on come on let's kick this door down and let everybody know we are in here has gone viral for letting his students braid his hair while in class. You've probably seen this video on TikTok. WUSA 9 has learned this is a Prince George's County teacher. He's received a lot of attention and criticism, and with that attention also comes some misinformation. So we want to bring you the facts about what we know about this video and then be clear about what is false. Yeah, our Leslie Moreno joins us right now to verify. Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. This Prince George's County teacher is getting a lot of attention and criticism after posting this video of his students braiding his hair in school. Hey. As of Wednesday, the video has gained nearly 7 million views on his TikTok page alone and Damn. it's been reposted all over. My goal is to use all these words. No, no, no. Marquise White says he's a middle school science teacher and we've confirmed with Prince George's County Schools, he is a teacher in the county. He says he asked four to five of his students who he calls besties for help. A couple of these were students from my class, but others were students from other classes. He says he only picked besties. students that were finished with work and it all happened during the last 10 minutes of class. In another video, White says he also lets his students paint his nails. The student that you see in this video has goals and aspirations to be a nail tech. Her mom literally watches my so but where's his interaction with the male students then like if this getting his nail done he's really i don't know this you can look at this thing so many ways let's go videos all the time not only does she love my content but she signed a media release form for her daughter the video is generating a lot of talk over twenty thousand comments some in support saying he's more of a father than most Others criticizing, saying this is too close and personal. And countless blogs and headlines claiming White has been fired. That's false. Our source? Prince George's County Schools. They tell us a teacher in question has been reassigned out of the classroom pending the outcome of the investigation. So no, the teacher has not been fired but is under investigation. But could these videos be against Prince George's County Public Schools Code of Conduct? We read the code of conduct, and while it doesn't say anything about braiding hair or painting nails, it does say staff must respect students' personal boundaries by maintaining proper space and demonstrate appropriate Ooh. behaviors. It also says staff shouldn't record faces or voices unless when teaching a performing arts class or a career technology. And our team has been in contact right with Mr. White. He's not ready to speak publicly just yet. But again, the school district says he has been reassigned out of the classroom pending the outcome of the investigation. We'll, of course, keep you guys posted. Hey, good to know what's fact and what's fiction about what's this fact story. And what's All right, fiction. thank you, Les. <laughs> Nigga crying. Some of the messages that they've been sending me. Is this nigga acting, bro? During this time. <laughs> hey, bestie. I really hope that you see this message. Uh. Message. How are you? I don't know why. I don't know why this nigga is calling his female underage um, students besties. Like, what? What? I think this nigga might be gay, though. I'm gonna be honest. Let me let me keep my comment to myself. I think the nigga gay though. I hope that you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, stop. Our class misses you so much. And we really want you to know that we love you and we miss you so much. And can't wait for you to come back. I can't believe that taking somebody's hair out is such a big deal. And it makes me so mad that people make little things big things. I want you to know that the class and others got your back. And we will always stand behind you. And up for you no matter what happens, we got you. Again, we miss we miss you and we love you so much. Oh, God. And can't wait for, can't wait for you to come back. 
I wish that this never happened because it feels like we're losing you. <laughs> Is he trying to get an acting role? Come back soon. Don't be gone too long because <laughs> if you're not back by Monday, I know something's up. <laughs> but anyways, I also made sure that the classroom was clean before we left. Love you. Missed you. Love you. Miss you. See you later. This is wild. Hi, Mr. White. We've been seeing all this stuff going on. And so has your other former students. And I just want you to know that we're standing with you. I, I'm literally in my junior year of high school right now. And seeing this, you... And seeing all this, you were my and many others' favorite teacher. Many of... Uh, Oh my gosh, I can't get, <laughs> get this man an Oscar. He is too damn emotional for a grown man. Many of your students and former students are doing our best to advocate for you. You're one of the few teachers that made me really feel like I had a voice and opinion. <laughs> and not only and not only that you made learning fun and encouraging at the end of the day some people want to understand that some adults generally have a good heart. <laughs> Alright, I can't watch them. <laughs> Y'all go check out his TikTok. Uh it was his TikTok. Um No, that's not him. Hold on. And it comes. Have a good heart when it comes is to that, dealing with children. Is that his is that him? Jack Lee? Y'all go check out Jack Lee. I guess that's his TikTok. If it's not, my bad. But I'll meet y'all on the other side. This shit is crazy, bro. Welcome to the 250 Gemstones News Channel. This is a channel that represents a nation of people that strive for excellence and greatness every single day. I'm your host, Michael T. Porter, and I'm bringing this great news to you like none other. But before I begin, y'all hit that like button, the subscribe button, that share button, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping. Pass me around, pass me around Facebook, Instagram, and all of the social media platforms, and y'all know how I feel about my choosing. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my Spotify podcast, the 250 Gemstones Culture Podcast. Link is in the description. Y'all stay and watch the whole video. We need to talk. Oh, we need to talk. Y'all see that mess? Y'all see this teacher? Now, I was rooting for the brother. I'm going to be honest. This teacher that got fired, I was rooting for the brother. But I don't know if this dude... Hold on, y'all. I don't know if this dude is part of the rainbow community. I don't know what he got going on because he's getting his nails done, getting his hair did. And this nigga was crying uncontrollably. This snot boat. <laughs> and and, and it all, he was, when he was reading those letters from them little ones, from his uh, junior high school students, and talking about how they we miss them, and he's very impactful on his life. And that's cool. We need more men out there. We need more men getting involved because it's something about a man that brings structure, that brings logic, that brings guidance, that brings uh, confidence that pushes people to the next level, to push the little ones and his peers and other grown folks to push them to their absolute best. And he gets, he's very personable. He's very open. He seems like he's very transparent, but all that crying, and that's not, but we, we miss you. <laughs> oh, ooh, nigga. Now with all that snot in your nose, I said, oh no. I, now I think he's, I don't think he's touching them girls. I think, or, to be honest, I mean, uh, it seems like if he's not gay, I honestly think he's just an emotional man. I think he, maybe he's been traumatized. Not sexually, traumatized in a sense. Maybe his dad wasn't there for him. And that's traumatic. Like, a lot of kids, they become the best parents because they were so empty growing up. He didn't have a father. Uh, and it seems like his mom may be decent. He, he's going to school. Uh, he's... Uh, he's graduating, he's a teacher, he, so he's doing something with himself, so, but I think maybe there's something he was lacking as a child, and he's trying to make sure that the kids around him don't lack that, you know, confidence and structure, and having an older person to talk to, to give you some game, to give you some sauce, so you can put your life in the right motion, so put your life in motion and have some type of direction, so I honestly believe if he's not 
you know, because that was a lot of crying. He's getting his hair done. He's getting his nails did. At first, I thought he was a pimp. You know, when you have a man where all the girls gravitate towards, you know, I know how girls is a snowball effect. Once one girl like that guy, then all these other girls start liking this guy, and they all start. Uh, uh, the, the snowball gets bigger and bigger. Oh, everybody talking about this teacher. Oh, let me see if I can get a chance with him. So I know how young girls are. Hey, in the hood, them girls 14, 15, 16, 17, they ready to go. They ready to go. So it is inappropriate at the end of the day, just knowing the male and female dynamics, they're younger. There's a big stigma on men, especially black men. We're barbaric. All we want to do is uh, have sex with women and leave them childless. And there's a whole bunch of negative things about men. But if he's not gay, or he's not, I thought he was a pimp at first. He looked, looked like a pimp. Like he got all these girls doing his hair, doing his nail. He looked like a pimp. Skinny dude, handsome dude, he looked like a pimp. Then it, like the way he was crying, he's just an emotional man. He's gay. Just, this man is very charismatic. This man has a lot of energy, right? You can tell uh, he has a lot, he wants to offer the world, but I think the way it came off just doesn't look, look good, right? So you, you're a grown man. And that that's the guideline in the school. You can't get too personal with the students. So advice, hopefully he gets another job somewhere. It seems like he's a good teacher. It seems like he is more than a teacher. It seems like he wants to give uh, more to the students, do go over and beyond. And I honestly believe we need more teachers like that to go over and beyond. Because there's a lot of teachers, they love teaching, but they really love their community. They want to be a part of the community. They want to build their own legacy. I see it every day in every community. Oh, such and such. Man, she's been teaching here for 25 years. She's been teaching here for 35 years. Seeing so many students come and go. They building their legacy in this community. And it's, it's a natural high for teachers that go, that go over and beyond. But you just still got to be mindful of the codes and ethics and conduct written for that organization. So seems like a good brother, a little pimpish, a little, a little bit, a little bit crybaby-ish. But I personally didn't see nothing wrong. He's on camera, not like he did it at his home somewhere. So y'all flood my comments. What do y'all think about this black teacher getting fired for allowing his female students to take down his grades? 250 capital G News. I am gone.